afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm here because uh, it's a wonderful country. It's empty. <laughs> it's rural. And um, I lived uh, nearly 40 years in cities, big cities. And I came to the conclusion um, we have to go to the countryside to do something new and to do something uh, which is good for the planet or good for us and people. So I looked in Europe, southern Europe, okay, and come to, came to Idania, which is also a nice town and uh, very empty, so you can do something new. Um, our mission or vision is um, to organize and produce seeds, organic seeds, biodynamic seeds, and uh, that's why we are here. So we have started last year, and after a year we have quite developed, and um, we will come to Spain next year. That's our goal, to also set up something here in Spain, and um, it's a cross-border, so it's, it's a lot of synergy. Um, there, why Southern Europe? Um, I'm coming from Northern Europe, and uh, there is already a lot of activities regarding organic seeds and biodynamic seeds. So we thought, let's go there, where we need to develop these kind of uh, activities. And everything starts with seeds, so that's um, uh, why we we starting all with seeds. Okay, seeds, organic seeds. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of lack of resources. Um, they have a lot of heritages here, but uh, it's not um, the germination rate of seeds. Apparently, is not very good. So, you, if you buy seeds uh, or you um, you collect seeds, you don't know what is the outcome. So, in conventional in the conventional seeds, they are you know they're using chemicals, they're using a lot of other stuff. But uh, you can predict, you know, you can say, okay, if you give these, these seeds and you follow the rules, then you can get a certain amount of uh, vegetables or flowers or something else. So um, that's why in the organic part, you have to put all the energy into the seeds, that the seeds are resistant to illness, sickness, and uh, climate change. So it's a lot of training, a lot of research you have to do to create the right seeds. Um, that's the reason why we have uh, uh, also created a network of universities and uh, institutions to, to collect knowledge to, and to spread knowledge to the farmers and we're working with farmers together. That's we will come to that in a minute. Um, yeah, we see a very high potential because there's a big movement in Northern Europe to go to organic. Uh, even in, uh, in Germany, we have already more than 15% market share, and there will, there's pr um, predicted that in 2030, whole Europe is around 30% organic food. So it's a huge potential, but um, you need organic seeds for that. Because at the moment, um, the organic farmers, they can use conventional seeds, but that will end. So the European Commission will change that, this derogation, to a law that you have to, to use organic seeds. So we have not much time, 10 years around about, to develop organic seeds. And the organic seeds have to be developed in each country. Because you cannot, uh, it's not a global market, it's a local market. So you have to adopt the seeds to the local conditions. So it's a complete different economy. You know, if you take a, a, a kind of uh, a company like Monsanto in the US or Syngenta in Switzerland, they have a global market, so they produce seeds for all over the world and they balance the seeds with chemicals. So if you have a different soil, you use a different chemical. If you have a different climate, you, dis dis you use different herbicides. So we weren't, in the organic farming, you're not allowed to do it and this is good. Uh, but you have then to adopt the seeds to these kind of climate conditions. That's the reason why you have to roll out seed companies on local conditions. That's what we want to do. Um, we see also um, through this trend of consumers to go to more organic food, 
we need more organic farming. And in, in Portugal, since last year, I was astonished how much changes it is only coming in one year. So a lot of more farmers converting to organic, a lot of new organic shops are created. It's fantastic. Uh, it's a really a, a movement. And uh, I'm, I'm, I have contacts here to Spain, to uh, the biodynamic organization, to Demeter Spain. There's also a lot of movement here in Spain going on to the positive direction. So there is a lot of potential. But the organic farming has one big advantage uh, because the, the food is much more healthy. You need less food, but the food is more expensive because you go with more labor costs in, you, do, you, you use less machines, you use machines, but less machines. So it's, it's, and you take care about the environment, so you don't export the costs of the environment to the public, you know. For instance, if you don't use chemicals, you don't need to clean the water. So if you use chemicals, you, you delegate these kind of stuff to the authorities, to the taxpayers. So, but a lot of farms, survive with organic farming because they don't need too much space. You know, you can survive with a small farm. You don't need 500 hectares. You can survive with six hectares. And I, I saw a lot of farms which are very wealthy, but they have only six or 10 hectares. That's all. And, but they're very, very intense and they're very clever organized. Yeah. So you need know-how. So I, on this slide, you see uh, what we think are the driving factors, the growth rate, and, um, and uh, that the another very astonishing thing I have identified in Portugal, and I, I'm pretty sure it's the same in Spain. Portugal is importing everything from food, you know, nearly everything. So even traditional stuff like uh, lentils or beans are imported. And it's natural, it's really strange. Uh, I, I was very wondering why is this the case? And then people saying, yeah, they're not, the quality is not the same like in Brazil and blah, blah, blah. So we have to increase local quality. We have to increase the, 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 the quality of, of the local products. And we can do only do this in a, in a joint activity together with the farmers, with the consumers, and with the seed companies, all right? So, um, in the Mediterranean area, there are similar, similar ideas. You know, they have, they have a similar climate, w very hot summer, uh, wet winters. It's all over the place. And so all the seeds, we could also participate. You know, if you grow some seeds in Spain, you can exchange it with Portugal and vice versa because the climate is similar. So that's, that's a big advantage. And this, that is why we are focusing on the Mediterranean area starting in Portugal, going next year to Spain, and then to roll out. Um, okay, that's the place, this photo is the place where we are. You, um, Idania Nova is a, is a town on a hill, and on, there's a valley, a big valley of 570 hectares, which is declared to an uh, organic zone. So it, there are several projects of people, of young farmers and different farmers, but they have all one goal, they have to be organic. So they, they, the whole sector is a, a green valley in the organic farming and different products. So there are a lot of people working together, they exchange and they're helping each other, it's just great. Yeah. So um, that's where we are, we have there are some um, networking, uh, there's a greenhouse and we have uh, different um, polytunnels with netting to avoid cross-pollination. We all, we have test fields there and um, we're running several product lines there to test how, what is the end product. And we're working in Portugal already with uh, 15 other farmers across Portugal from south to north to see, you know, what are the different climates, how can we, how are the tomatoes in the south compared to the tomatoes in the north and to grow different kind of specified seeds in the different regions. Um, that's our team. We have um, collected uh, an international team to get know-how together uh, for the seed processing. And um, there are also Portuguese people uh, came, uh, coming back, or they came back from different countries, one from Germany, one from France, one from uh, UK. 
And so there, there are people coming back, one from Brussels. So that's great. Uh, we, f we like that. But in the meanwhile, we have over 20 people, and most of them are Portuguese in the meanwhile. Okay, this reminds, is a completely different um, design, but the, the, the content is similar what, what uh, Alessandro has, uh, has explained. Um, we're creating a kind of network structure of network economy, which means you work with local power, with, with, with you're working very closely to local governments, to local institutions, and to local farmers, and to local know-how. But on the same time, you have to connect to other competence centers in other places, other places in Portugal, places in Spain, places in Germany, places in Switzerland, to collect know-how to not to invent the wheel twice. Because organic farming, organic breeding, organic uh, multiplying of seeds is a complex process. Because you need to understand nature, and nature is very complex, so we don't understand nature in total, so we can only see some parts of it. <coughs> but the idea is a holistic approach, so you have to understand, okay, what kind of impact is these kind of climate? What are the impact of these kind of soil? And the soils are very different from farm to farm. So there is a lot of knowledge uh, necessary and a lot of research necessary, and we're connecting this research, for instance, that a farmer in Alentejo can call us and say, I have this kind of problem, can you help me? And then we call maybe other experts and you know, collect the knowledge and give it back to the farmer. So you need, a trans yeah, you need to, to transfer and to, to disseminate knowledge as fast as possible to grow according to the requirements. Because 10 years to grow a, a new variety of seeds, 10 years is nothing. It's very, very, it, it takes a long time. So 10 years is a very short time. So if you grow a tree, it's the same thing, you know, 10 years is nothing. You know, some trees, they are hundreds, hundreds of years old and it takes time. So you need time, but you have not the time. So you have to share economy, you have to share knowledge. That's a key, I think, a key issue in the future of this kind of economy. But on the other side, if you don't use, if you don't create a local economy, you will not create the wealth. Or if you export, if you do, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you export to other countries, they take the, ma the main margin out of you and uh, you suffer. Okay, so our vision is um, to serve our, over time the Mediterranean Sea and to exchange over the Mediterranean Sea all this knowledge and plants and, 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 and breeds. And, and that is something because there is a similarity. And, um, so there will be other areas where the same process will happen, but we are concentrating on this area. And we could, um, the idea is we could, with each country which you develop, will accelerate this process because you, there are synergy. You know, you develop a sales channel, you develop knowledge of seeds, you can transport this immediately to the next country. So you don't start at zero, you don't, you start at 10 or whatever the number is. Oh, so these are some synergies we, we see. Uh, breeding, financial, you can finance differently if you, if you roll out things. You have an um, exchange of seeds. You have, um, you have products already. So but our motto is really, and you see this, we have outside a, a booth, a stand, where you can see also our products. Uh, organic, sea, organic food from organic seeds, that's our slogan. And, um, there is a, um, we have, a, I bought some, some, um, a catalog with of the, the first varieties that are produced. You see this and you can grab outside uh, if you like. So these are only some economy uh, of scale things. Um, the investment we're doing, you will reduce over time. Uh, from country to country, you will um, accelerate the, the return because you can start with a already, uh, so when we started in Portugal, there was nothing. So the next country, we start with something, and the next country, we will start with a lot. So you will accelerate the time frame as well as the, the economy uh, of scale. Yeah, conclusion is we see in the organic farming, uh, in biodynamic farming, a, a high interesting market for rural areas, 
you know, you, can't, you can do it also in the city, but the real, um, uh, the real areas which are of interest is rural. And you, but you need to, to create a different business model. So we cannot, it's not a global market, it's a local market, and you have to connect to each other, otherwise you will, you will not survive. Okay, that's it. Thank you.